uh, I get the pleasure, is this a pleasure, of interviewing uh, my friend Bill Rose, 37 years now at Park Regency. That's right. Bill, are, are you tired of real estate yet? N not even close. I'm just getting fired up. <laughs> wow. So look out, y'all. <laughs> Billy is 72. So big, big, big difference. Um, yeah. We inverted the numbers, and you still, still made the top 15. Uh, great accomplishment for Bill because some of the older guys here, Jim Mazel's been highly successful over his career. Uh, Dan Tracieras, myself, we've been in top 15 pretty regularly till recent years. And as you get older, people tend to, to produce a little less. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mention Arnold here, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. Kick. But Bill continues to do fantastic. I mean, the guy has finished in the top 15 the last three consecutive years, six out of the past eight years, nine of the past 13 years he's been in the top 15, most of the time in the top 12. This last year was top 15, he's finally was number 15. Just didn't make it, but he, he's here. Uh, Patrick and I decided to call me Squeaky. <laughs> I, I just squeaked this one in. <laughs> so your mailing is 1,500 homes? No, it's 2,000 because I got a database of 600 people. Uh, past clients, friends, family, church members. So they're in my in my marketing. So what system are you using to track your business? <laughs> yellow pad. That yellow pad. I've got 30 years of these puppies, man. <laughs> and I go back and I look at them. Who do I miss out on? Uh, Billy, what, what's your style when you go on a listening appointment? What, uh, are I'm, you a hard closer? Or? Not even close. I'm very, very personable. I do start them off letting them know that there's a good chance I'm going to walk out of here and we're not going to work together. Because I'm going to ask you what you want, what you're looking for, and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. And if we don't match notes on that, then I'm just not going to take your listing. Because if it starts off rough, it's going to get worse all the way through. So but you tell them that. You actually I say... Do. I do. So you, they, they have to qualify to work with you. Absolutely, because I have my way of doing business, which is really well, I, looking after their interest. And if they want to play hardball, eh, I'd rather not take their money. Okay. More questions from the group here. Bill, um, you're consistent door knocking five days a week. Uh, what, what gets you out there when you know it's like 105 degrees? And, or you have like a, a bear of an escrow going on. What keeps you getting out there? How, well, how first you, of all, I get away from the hard escrow. You know, that's going to take care of itself. Okay. You know, and I draw a line in the sand. It's called the boundaries of things I'm willing to do and not do. But the inspiration to get going, I've got this feeling is that they're waiting. There's people out there waiting for me to show up. I've got something of value to bring to them. Information, just my inspiration. You know, I can light, lighten people's days up. Bill, last year, if I recall accurately, you had mentioned that you were um, taking some classes for uh, for speaking, uh, public speaking, and you were also, in addition to that, you were going to implement the uh, marketing video into your marketing plan. Yeah, um, that was part of the. So that and how no, is that going? not at all. That's part of the social media, and there's just not a there's not enough touch there for me. It's not warm enough, and I just can't impact mm -hmm. the way I wanted to. So I abandoned it. Social media, leave it up to y'all. That's good for you, but it, for me, it doesn't work. Yeah. Well, in behalf of the Park Regency old guys, <coughs> old guys. F-O-G's. Friggin' old guys. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I look forward to interviewing you next year again. Thanks, brother. Thanks. 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 Thanks.